afternoon. Last week, a man was sentenced to prison time for his part in a Target gift card scam. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says that he was part of an international scheme. In December, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office conducted a blitz operation to combat retail crime when authorities came across an unusual suspect at a Target store. Authorities say that they saw the man take a stack of gift cards off the shelf and put those into his jacket, then replacing them with a stack of tamper gift cards, putting those back on the shelf. When he left the store, he was arrested and they found 200 gift cards on him, thousands more in his car. That suspect was Ning Ning Sun, who pleaded no contest to felony charges of acting as an agent involved in retail theft, among other charges. Prosecutors say the amount of intended loss from the gift cards was millions of dollars. The sheriff's office says those tampered gift cards were manipulated in a way so funds would be diverted offshore. So you would go unsuspectingly buy this gift card. Uh, the minute you loaded it with $25, $50, $100, whatever it was, that money was gone within seconds. Your recipient unknowingly was receiving this gift card that was virtually worthless. Sheriff spokesperson Amar Gandhi says detectives believe Sun is actually one small piece of a much larger puzzle. And just stumbling upon him in that operation has unlocked a world into this organized crime that we would have never really been able to crack. And again, it's not just one guy doing one small project. This is part of a huge syndicate that goes international. Sun faces a year in prison and another two years and eight months in mandatory supervision. And this comes as a measure to reform California Prop 47 is expected to go to voters this November. It would allow felony charges for thefts of under $950 that are otherwise classified as misdemeanor.